We've kicked off Scenic's Victoria Falls and East Africa adventure in Zimbabwe, a country famed for its magnificent falls and most majestic of wildlife. After a short drive from Zimbabwe dodging wild dog and deer and the odd elephant or two, this is the Chobe River in Botswana. Wow, don't these Africans know how to do a river? Botswana's Chobe River forms the northern boundary of the Chobe National Park and attracts an incredible and diverse amount of game. It is also regarded as the elephant capital of Africa. And that's simply something you don't see every day. Botswana has the largest elephant population of anywhere in the world. It's thought that over 120,000 elephants call the Chobe National Park home. But while it's the elephants that Chobe is famous for, this unspoiled environment sets the scene for some of Africa's best game viewing experiences. It's an awfully big nose, an awfully big mouth, an awfully big stomach, and that's an awfully big bottom, but don't be fooled by the size of the hippo. They, when angry, are responsible for more human deaths than any other animal, and they can move fast when they want to. Now it's Kenya's turn to wow us with the legendary Masai Mara. With its breathtaking vistas, endless plains and plentiful wildlife, the Masai Mara National Reserve is the ultimate African cliché brought to life. And that, way off there to the left, that's wildebeest. That's wildebeest. That's a herd of wildebeest. That's a herd of wildebeest. There must be thousands there. The Great Migration, traditionally July to October, is when around two million wildebeest cross the Great Mara River from the Serengeti in Tanzania into Kenya and is the best time for viewing hordes of zebra and wildebeest. This is where all the wildebeest cross. This is just one of the crossing points. There's just about uh, seven or so different crossing points. But any time of year, this is home to all of the big five and the draw card predators. Oh, yeah, cheetah, two. Now, three, I can see. Yeah, they're actually five. Um, yeah, this is a coalition of five males that we like to call the first five. So they don't usually sort of gather in a bunch like that? No, usually they, they're found solitary or uh, one with a sibling or a mother and cubs. These are five males that have come together, teamed up to form a stronger coalition for better and successful hunting. Right, and so they, they, they know how to organise themselves for a kill, do they? They do, they yeah. actually have a leader. They're amazingly camouflaged, aren't they? You can only just pick them up. The most thrilling part of an African safari is that you never know what encounters you may experience. King of the jungle and his lady friend? Yes, this is a mating pair, uh, which we locally call honeymooners. Honeymooners. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> Huh? Yes. He's done. And he's proud of himself. <laughs> oh, look at him. Yeah. He's done his work. King of the jungle once more. <laughs> well done, son. But while the wildlife is what's put the Mara on the map, these lands are also home to one of the most extraordinary tribes on Earth. You've probably seen footage of the Maasai coloured beads, close cropped hair, the brightest of clothing and the most enviable of bone structure. But beneath the striking athletic exterior lurks a fearsome reputation. Renowned as ferocious warriors and cattle rustlers, the Maasai not only prefer their meat raw, they like to wash it down with pure cow's blood. As you digest that, consider this. Although circumcision is practised in many cultures, the Maasai prefer to perform it without anaesthetic. I approach these guys hesitantly. <laughs> a 
And while they still look fierce, they're also mighty friendly. This dance, performed today, is to welcome me to their village, but traditionally used for other, more vital purposes. So what's your idea with the jumping dance? Uh, just to, for you to be popular in the area too, yeah. and also for you to have many girlfriends. Right, so yeah. if, is it the guy that jumps the highest gets the most girlfriends? Absolutely, and also it depends on how we, with the nags, yeah, so yeah. They, not only jumping. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. The, the presentation as yeah, well. Yeah, the presentation as well too. To experience the wilds of Africa for yourself, Scenic has a range of fully escorted luxury journeys. Stay in indulgent lodgings and enjoy fine dining, exclusive experiences and authentic encounters. Getaway viewers who start planning now for 2021 can save $400 per couple off all Africa journeys of 17 days or longer. To learn more and see current offers, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway, call 1300 790 372 or speak to your nearest scenic agent. <laughs>